I'm Dr. Mark Vance, and today I'm going to talk about what kind of drinks are safe for your teeth. Things that are acidic uh, make your teeth more susceptible to get cavities. Cavities start out as these white chalky areas on the teeth, but if changes to your diet or your oral hygiene aren't made, they can progress to cavities. These are these dark holes in the teeth you see here. These have to be repaired by a dentist and can cause sensitivity, pain, or tooth loss if they get too big. So to measure how damaging something is to your teeth, we're going to use the pH scale. What is pH? Without trying to get too technical, it's a measure of how acidic or how basic, basic being the opposite of acidic, is. It's a 0 to 14 scale, 7 being neutral, close to water, 0 being very acidic, close to, you know, battery acid, 14 being close to bleach. Your body uh, rests at about 7.4. Uh, that black line there is at 5.5 that's the critical point that if a liquid is below 5.5 it's going to start to uh, have kind of a corrosive effect on your teeth it's going to pull minerals out of your teeth start to dissolve your teeth and make them more prone to get cavities so we want to be to the right of that line things that can be very alkaline or basic can be good for you but uh, things that are severely alkaline like bleach or certain things you don't want to drink those either so that's why you got the two bad guys from uh, Indiana Jones on either side you want to be close to where India is right in the middle so today I'm going to test out a couple of different liquids and see how acidic or how basic they are and then we're going to talk about the results at the end I'm going to use some uh, litmus paper that I got off the internet there these little indicating strips you might have done this in science class in high school uh, they're little strips you put them in something and they turn one of these colors here closer to the 14 the more blue or violet it is, it's more basic, closer to yellow or red, more acidic. So here we go. So let's talk about the results now. Now matching uh, all the tabs up with the uh, color scale that we got. Start with the most acidic hydrofluoric acid, battery acid almost. You know that's that's like at a one. Lemon juice and lime juice were both very acidic. All the soft drinks kind of just about lined up together at about a three and a half to four and a half level. Note that Mountain Dew, Diet Mountain Dew were just about the same. Diet Coke may be a little less acidic than Coke, but both the diet drinks and, and Mountain Dew, the whole Mountain Dew, were about the same. And uh, all of them, even the diet drinks, are below 5.5, okay? Beer seemed to be right at about 5.5. And then a, a lot of them there mixed together uh, near at 6, 6.5. You know, coffee, tea, the medicine for my uh, Basset Hound's ears, right at about 6. We just threw that in for fun there. Uh, mouthwash at about a six. Alcohol, uh, the lubrication uh, oil for my bike uh, at about a six point five. Water at about six point five seven. You know my saliva also at about six point five, six point five to seven. Low fat milk six point seven. Chocolate milk a surprising one there. It looked to be a little bit, almost neutral. I had always heard that one was really acidic. Perhaps the, uh, the calcium in it counteracted that. Um, and then way at the top, close to a 10 actually by the color, is sodium hypochlorite, which is basically Clorox. So what did we learn from this? Well, diet drinks, most soft drinks below the 5.5 level, those can all affect your teeth. Even if they're diet drinks, they still have acid in them, even if they have less sugar. Okay. Um, bleach will not break down your teeth, but I don't recommend drinking it. Also, my... Uh, you know, uh, ear medicine for dogs, also okay. Bike lube, also won't break down your teeth, but I don't really recommend drinking those. Um, my, my saliva was just about at neutral, so your, your saliva is a natural protectant of the teeth. It kind of washes away the acidic things, okay? Um, and just a, a, a note as far as total oral health, you know, if you're going to drink something acidic, brush your teeth or rinse soon afterwards to wash that acidic stuff out of the way. Okay, it's better just to drink it all at once and be done with it versus sip on it all day. That keeps the acidic level low in your mouth. Um, hope
Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of this in the future. Thank you.